Hi F2Ps, it's Goodfellow here from F2P.com and today we are checking out possibly the longest named MMO in the world. It is Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex First Assault Online. <laughs> it sounds like it's three different games, it's not. We're going to call it First Assault Online because that's a lot easier. Um, it is obviously based on the anime Ghost in the Shell where... I don't know, it's in the future, I don't know, let's say it's 2022. I don't know, I don't have any notes in front of me, but it's it's sometime in the near future. Um, set in some fictional city, Japan somewhere probably. Uh, and uh, essentially the world has technology where people can have cybernetic replacements for their arms and legs and eyes and whatnot. Even kind of brain matters kind of all linked up. Um, and this has brought on a, uh, a realm of people hacking other people. They kind of like take over them. So uh, because of this, a unit has been created called Section 9. And that is made up of like ex-military and police officers and stuff like that. Um, with our main lady here, Motoko. I think she, I'm pretty sure she's the main character. Um, she's like a full body cyborg. Doesn't look it. Looks pretty good. Uh, but essentially... That's kind of the story arc of Ghost in the Shell. They kind of do cool stuff, and you know they've they've got these different abilities because they are part cyborg. Um, that kind of translates into the game. You have different characters, and each of them has a different main ability. Other than that, that's about as much as you're getting Ghost in the Shell wise. Um, it is a team-based PvP-focused uh, first-person shooter, and so we're going to explore. Um, I don't know, a, a game or two, depending on how long they last. I'm going to walk you through some of the features and uh, see how it goes. So this is a first look. I checked this game out a long, 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 long time ago before it was uh, in open beta, which I believe it's now open beta. Um, so I'm kind of a little bit familiar with it already, but I haven't leveled this new account up, which is why I'm currently only level 3. I've played a couple of games just to get back into the swing of things. Uh, so... When you start out, let's have a look. When you start out, you get to choose one character uh, from this pretty good selection. Uh, we went with uh, Kusanagi Motoko. Uh, her main skill, uh, as we'll check out now, uh, is that she has thermo-optic camo. So she has stealth. Uh, so you go into stealth and you can run around and go invisible and stuff like that. Players can still kind of see. You can kind of see these invisible kind of predator-like blurs running around, uh, but that's that's her her bag. Um, you get different outfits and stuff, but obviously they, they, they cost cash. Um, and then you can ooh, you can upgrade her various sockets. Um, yeah, so that's, that's 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 pretty much the makeup of this character. You then have um, other characters that you have to recruit, uh, unfortunately. Um, Oh, we do have enough. Oh, there we go. We, we, we had one extra license. Didn't realise. There we go. So we just picked up Bato. Um, so we can't recruit anyone else. Hadn't realised we picked up enough uh, currency or there you go, operative licences to get another character. So we've got two now. Um, and, you know, playing the game, you will uh, get access to these operative licences and you can get all the other characters and stuff. So, uh, starting out with, you know, we have, we have two characters to play with. That's not bad for level three. Um, this dude... Uh, he has, I think it was Rocket, yeah. So, Battle Adder, the special operative with long military career. Uh, he has an arm launcher. Launches a missile from a hidden launcher system in the user's arm. Tier 2, he launches two missiles. What is Tier 2? I hear you ask. Well, I'll explain that when we play the game. So, I'm going to jump in. Um, do you know what? I, I'm going to go with Battle. Let's let's just jump in with this dude. So, we're going to go dive. Quick match. Um, so you got a new ghost assault mode, which is currently in alpha testing, but we don't have access to it yet. Anyway, um, and you've got to eliminate the enemy team. It's a ghost mode, so you're uh, invisible and you go around killing people. Uh, so we are going to jump into this. Scanning, two seconds, one second remaining. Hopefully we'll be able to jump into the game fairly quickly. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Map voting in progress. Uh, so, uh, what kind of game are we on? So, we've got Terminal Conquest, Demolition, Team Deathmatch. I'm, I'm fine with anything. I'd sooner go with Terminal Conquest, I think. Demolition is 
Uh, still team based, they're all team based, but with demolition, once you get killed, you're out of the game. So with terminal conquest, you have to, it's a point capture, multiple points um, on the map, and so a little bit easier. Demolition would kind of be sat out of the game as much as we'd be sat in it, probably. Um, oh, I think it was. Hold on, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't. What, what can I choose another character? There we go. We're going with Batal. There we go. So we've got enough Matokos. I don't think we need any more. Other well, team seems like they have a bit more of a varied team. Uh, this little icon here shows that we are new characters. Uh, hopefully, auto balance is on. So it doesn't seem that balanced. Okay, because so we've got some high level. Oh, okay, they're auto balance shuffling. So it's moved. No, oh, no. Okay, so we've still got all the new players on one team. I oh, know there's one there. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, so you have three main weapons. You've got your uh, main firearm, which is either an SMG, uh, an assault rifle, or a sniper rifle. And I believe that's available to every character. I'm talking out of my butt, but we'll find out in a second, because I'm Batal and I'm normally used to playing Matoko. Um, you then have your pistol sidearm, you have a melee weapon. You also have a grenade. I think you only have one grenade on four, but I think you can upgrade this with your various modular upgrades and... Uh, go into battle with more grenades. Now, one of the things that you have with the game, you have um, your your skill, your main. There you go. It even says the bottom there. Press Q to use your skill, and um, so that is your main ability. So for us, it will be using our rocket launcher arm, which is you know a pretty powerful uh, ability. To use that, we have to basically build it up. So over the course of the game, it will slowly over time tick up to reach halfway through this uh, skill gauge. Um, yeah, okay, I'm happy with... That's that's not my character. That isn't what my character looks like at all. There we go. There we go. Okay, so skill is ready. So we're already at Q. You can see we could use our skill now if we wish to. Uh, you can see the bottom left where my skill gauge is. Um, let's get out. Ah, oh, man. Okay. You are going to notice there is bits of lag, and I'm pretty sure this isn't at my end. It's saying that my uh, my ping rate when I go into the server is is fine. But I do find that the performance on this game isn't necessarily the best. Okay. Incoming grenade. Okay. Let's throw a grenade of our own. Okay, totally missed that. Okay, we need to get in on this. See a little bit lag again. Okay, so we're now taking the point. Um, yeah, so Q, uh, it will automatically build up over time. As you can see, it's ticking up now. Ooh, we're stuck on that. I thought I could run around it. Um, I'm still capturing, so I'm going to sit here for a minute. Uh, yeah, so it automatically ticks up to Q to get to the halfway point to build up my Q. Um, so once it's at 200. Oh, that's how I do. Okay. So much lag. <laughs> uh, yeah, so once you get halfway to your Q, you get a free go at it. Um, but then to build it up the, the rest of the way... Um, it, you, you need to earn points. So he was in stealth then, but he kind of ran in and we could kind of see a little bit of a blur. Um, so, one of the cool things about the game... Okay, so we're, we're on to the next point. So we caught and kept. Oh! Oh, sniper up there. Oh! So the performance again, as you can see, we were behind the cover then. This happens a lot. We were behind the cover then, and then we still got hit. Now, <laughs> this isn't just me complaining about it. This is quite a bit of an, an ongoing thing that a lot of people complain about. Oof. Okay, let's try and get back in there. Throw grenade. Rocket kill. 
Okay. Try him, try him. So yeah, the lag is kind of there. And once you get to level 2 with your... Um, tier 2 with your skill... And I probably should have tried to do that then. You can share it with other players, which is pretty cool. I think they're going to get this. <laughs> okay, they've got that one. We could not push them off there, unfortunately. We should have tried probably going around the other way. But we didn't. So there's no point in getting hung up on it. Okay, so now we're going to point C. This dude's just sitting in their sniper room. I'm going to go this way. Oof. Okay. Well, <laughs> that didn't do much. Uh, so one of the other cool things is that um, when you start capturing points, so you summon. You can kind of hear a sentinel, uh, which has this like robot thing walking around. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, we've got it. There goes. So this is a sentinel. He's now gliding across the floor laggily. Um, Uh, but you can also hack that dude with, like, your E. I mean, he's on our side, so we don't need to hack him. <coughs> got a nice kill, but got killed for it, so, you know, bit of a trade-off. Rocket kill! Uh, that stuns you. Oh, and kills me. Oh, okay, didn't think it would kill me. So that was somebody else's Q ability, like where these little Seeker drones come flying around. It's that guy there, but obviously he's on my team. So the person who's playing that character. Okay, we're struggling to get around this side, so let's let's go through this way. Let's not all just keep pouring in through the same way. Grenade there, let's just wreck those guys. Oh, sentry. Okay. <laughs> Did not expect there to be that many people on the point. Damn, man. I think that point is easier for them to get to and defend than it is for us. And similarly with this one. Okay, let's try and go in with... Uh... Lots of snipers. They are basically just... What have they got? Have they got like loads of snipers? So they've got three, three snipers at the moment. I mean, we could switch to uh, sniper mode. But we're not gonna. We're gonna stay in and be close, close quarters combat. That's our bag, baby. Okay, so they caught that one again. So we're now on this one. So it's rebooting, so we can't actually use it just yet. But we need to. There you go. So we're hacking it. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, that was the thing. So that was the the, the thing. It must have like put a rocket on me or something, which is awesome. Okay, who's got it? I think we've still got it. <coughs> you have to shoot it in its like its vis. I think. Oh, sniper right behind him, all the way over there. Okay. We really need to push onto that. We're not, we're not pushing very well on it. I don't think we made the most of our. I would think tank in the last game, so nobody seems to be trying to hack it either. I don't know why. Oh, nice kill. Rocket. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. Go on, get on it, get on the point, get on the point. Are they going to get it? Ah, oh, they've caught it, okay. Okay, so now we have to try and push on top. So we lost the one that we can get to easy and defend, although that think tank being there did screw us a bit. Um, so now we have to try and get onto the other one a hell of a lot quicker. Oh, D. I think D's a bit of a D. Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, this is... Oh, okay, so we're lagging up quite a bit here. 
feel like it's probably going to crash. Which is always good fun. Okay, now we're back. We're back in the game. I saw you, sucker. I saw you. Oh, God. Yeah, I got you, sucker. We are headshotting! And we then got dinked. Okay, we're good, we're good, we got this, we got this! Okay, oh, we got a secret drone, okay, cool. So if we kind of assist with this, that'd be pretty cool. Watch that grenade, though. <laughs> I'll watch it, you, you don't have to. So we're hacking it. Ah! But while that was happening, we got killed. Okay. Camo shut down. Oh yeah. Okay, Seeker just absolutely annihilated me there. Was really struggling. Oh, have they caught it again? Or is that the previous one? I don't know who's caught that one. Capture system rebooting. Oh, we really need to get on their Seeker drone. Hard to push them out once they're in there. So got some good defences. Plus our snipers don't really seem to be hitting people. How are we doing? Uh, okay, so we've got most kills, I think. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Happy with our performance so far. Whoa, sugar, 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 sugar! So, okay, so I'm 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 kind of hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. <sighs> you die really easy on this game. Your kind of hit points aren't that high, and the damage you take is you know pretty pretty hardcore. There's a turret over there. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna queue it. That still didn't that still didn't destroy it, okay. Whoa, it's like by Cyber Central. Uh we've got we've got yeah, we've not got any ammo left on this, so we need to kind of get in here. Okay, we're getting it, we're capturing it. We're, we're pulling it back, we're pulling it back, boys. Two minutes, 30 to go, that's pretty good. I'm probably not going to get a chance for another game, <laughs> because these, this has gone on for quite a bit longer. Yay! That's what I'm talking about! 5-4, boosh! I think we were probably MVP then. We, we, we rocked that, that game. So yeah, little bits of performance lag every so often. I don't know why it happens. It does seem to be something that quite a few people complain about. Um, I mean, I, I can I can get lag on other games, but it's telling me as I log in when you select your server that yeah, your latency is fine, your ping's fine, I know my connection is fine at the moment, um, and I'm not getting lag kind of uh, in in this area or anything like this. So uh, it's definitely just the, the game performance lag, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. I've got some extra rewards. 
So that is essentially the game. Let's have a look at the results. Let's have a look at the progress. So while you are using these weapons and stuff, you upgrade them, which is pretty cool. You unlock new accessories. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. So where, where are we at? Where are we at? Let's see how well we did. Um, F2P. There I am. F2P car. That's not bad. That's not bad. We came second in our score. As soon as we've got some people that are like hell of a lot higher ranked than we are. Um, 26 kills. Oh, we've got most kills. Oh, okay. Joint most. That's pretty good. But he, he died like two more times than I did. Uh, oh, you got more points. Okay, so I didn't get a high score. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with my performance there. I'm sure you are all ecstatic with my performance as well. Uh, I am going to jump out of this. Um, uh, escape the match. There we go. So that is essentially the game. So you have Terminal Conquest. You have Demolition, which is just your traditional bomb planting. You have one team trying to uh, plant the bomb. The other team trying to disarm the bomb. And if you manage to kill... Every oh, no, I was escaping the game. I was escaping the game. Get out. I don't want to be dragged into another game. Well, it looks like I'm being dragged into another game. What was this? I thought I hit escape, escape game. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to show you this this full video. Um, okay, oh, uh, 20 minutes. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll show you like one game. Um, and then the other one is just your team deathmatch, and then the the newly added ghost assault mode. So you have four modes. I think there's kind of like I don't know, 12 maps or something like that, but they are broken down into the different. Uh, game modes, so you don't, you can't, you know, there's certain maps that are locked to a certain game mode, um, which, in general, when you, when you look at the number of maps, that's actually a good thing, there's a lot of maps, but when you break it down, if you only like playing kind of the uh, objective-based game modes, like the, the, the point capture or um, demolition, then you're probably not going to play Team Deathmatch that much. I don't really like Team Deathmatch games, I think it's just a bit of a constant grind. Um, so your number of maps are limited. Your number of game modes is unfortunately quite poor for an FPS game. It's not like you know. I mean, it's not so difficult to uh, create game modes, um, and I feel like they've not, they've just not really done enough with it. Hey up, hey up, see you join coming. Yeah. First blood, okay. Okay, I got wrecked. <laughs> so I'm out of it now. I'm out. So I, I can now flick between my allies. Um, I, actually, I can't remember whether we were attacking or defending. This guy's doing nothing, so he's AFK, which is great. So two of our players, and one of them's not even playing. Good luck with that one. And you're about to die. So yeah, he's, def he's not even he's not even playing. So he's, he's gone AFK in the game, which you know, if I cared enough, I'd report him, but I don't. There you go. So the defending team. So we were on the attack. We had to plant the bomb, uh, and w which is going to be hard. We're already one person outnumbered because he isn't doing anything. So let's try and stick with the team a little bit. Um, we're gonna go this way. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this map. This is this is a bit difficult. No kills, no kills. Okay. Oh, yep, you saw me. Okay, so he was peeking on the corner. I got hit. He's all the way down there. This really benefits snipers. Or well, that's the that's the assault rifle, so but it's got a better zoom than my uh, my SMG had. Um, again, he's just sat there AFK, and we've got one person left. He's he's never going to get into this base. But anyway, um, that is that is the game. So you got these long range funnels. <laughs> he got killed while I was running away. Uh, so that's the game. It's it's not bad. It's it's pretty good fun as far as um uh, um first person shooters go. However, it's not that different to other games. It's fairly... See, these guys just know that this guy's just AFK there now. Um, it does feel fairly standard to other uh, shooters. And so, that's kind of like the disappointing thing. The fact that it is Ghost in the Shell, other than the fact that you have this single Q ability, um, it's not that unique that... Um, Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Headshot, strafing headshot. Where's your buddy at? Where's your buddy at? Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. I don't have any more grenades. Oh, do I? What the hell? Oh, he came all the way. <laughs> they came all the way. I was the last one. <laughs> well, okay. So anyway, there you go. That's the game. Um, if you like the video, then please give us uh, a thumbs up. Um, you can find out. Oh, damn you. Um, you can find out more of our videos uh, over on our official website, f2p.com. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at F2PCom. Oh. <laughs> okay, that I was trying to use my G then, and that didn't work. Um, you can find us on F2PCom uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we do all sorts of news reviews, goodies, giveaways, that kind of stuff. Alpha, beta, closed beta, early access testing. Um, so if you're interested in all this kind of free-to-play MMO stuff, then please give us an ad, give us a like, uh, and check out our stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I have been Goodfellow. You have been you. This has been the longest title game in the world. Oh, we might be planting them up here. Which is Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, First Assault Online. <laughs> Good effort. Good effort. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye.